I know. It's all right. It's just that I... I know, Bonnie, it's fine. You want to take in a movie? I can't. I can't stay out late. Mom's in one of her moods. So what else is new? Come on, don't start with that. You're the one always moaning about what a pain she is. I am not. I get 20 minutes about what she did and what she said every time I see you, Bonnie. Take me home, please. Fine, you want to go home? You got it. tax or life insurance. Question is, can we eat for a month on $200? You are talking to yourself more all the time. Old age creeping up on me, kid. You're home early. Mm. Ruby and I worked on biology, and Karen and I did some math. You've been crying. No, I haven't. Are you out with Steve? I told you you could go out with Steve on Friday nights, not on school nights. Is that because you don't like him? No, it's not that I don't like him. This has nothing to do with Steve. It's just that you can't limit your life to one boy. I'm going to bed, Mom. Come here. I don't know. I mean, I can never tell anymore if she's going to be terrific or impossible. She's manic depressive. We did it in psychology. I think she's just frustrated. That's all. Libby, <laughs> she's my mother. Well, I mean, how long has it been since the last guy? What was his name, Larry? We're going out with Jay Davis for almost two months now. Oh, now he's gorgeous. I mean, for an older man, you know? I know, but he never stays over. And God knows she's home every night. Where do they get together in the day? <laughs> Oh, uh, listen, you guys going to Donovan's later? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll I be there. Okay. Hey, listen, you guys, I gotta go. I'll see you later. Okay, bye, bye baby. So what's that fight with Steve about? No, oh, the usual. It sounded like it was about Mom, but it really wasn't. Maybe you guys should see someone else. A year's forever. Oh, I couldn't. There's nobody like Steve. He's really been terrific. I mean, you know, there's been some tension, but... I don't know, it's not like he's always grabbing me and stuff. Sometimes I wish he would. <laughs> So? I'm scared to death. Speak of the devil. Listen, I'll call me later, okay? Good luck. Hey, Kingsley, looking good. Hi, Karen. Hi, Bonnie Blue. My eyes are not blue. They're green. Blue. Green. You still my honey? Yeah. I'm sorry again. Me too. Wait over there. I'll be right there. After a day of screaming grade schoolers, how do you look so beautiful? It isn't easy. How's it going? Good. No, it's going fantastic. It looks like we're going to pick up that Japanese import deal after all. What are you doing here? Well, actually, I came here to talk to you about... <laughs> Uh-huh, Lucy. 
Jesse Dillon. I caught you in the act. I'll bet you raced right over here the minute we got off the phone. Mother, that is more than enough car for a woman oh, my young. age. Yeah, yeah. Well, I want that Corvette in there. Jay's going to sell it to me, aren't you, Jay? <laughs> That's your booties, Charlie. Come and take a look at it. All right, we won't take her because she hasn't got any appreciation. Frank, take care of Mr. Marsh. She's wonderful. She's crazy. <laughs> you encourage her. She's going to kill herself in that thing. Will you stop? She's a good driver. I bet my last nickel that your mother will die at a great age, tucked in bed. You still on for tonight? Yeah. If it's not too late, I have a horrible day tomorrow. Pick you up at 8.30. Okay. Bye. Grandma, how's it going? All right, look, don't bother Mom, because I know she's going out. I just called to tell her that I'm going to be over at Libby's for homework and dinner. What? No, it's math. Yeah, it's a big test coming up. OK, so I'll see you around 10. 11. Bonnie, make it 11. Are you staying over? Great. OK, I'll see you later then. Bye. Oh, great. Grandma can deal with Mom. 11 o'clock. Are you crazy? I'm turning to a pumpkin. Let's skip going here tonight and get some pizza. Talk for a change, OK? Okay. Let's go. Bonnie called earlier. She's eating over at Libby's and studying for a math test. Uh huh. Mm. That means she's out with Steve Kingsley again. Honestly, I don't know what to do with her. Well, you can try lightening up. I don't remember you being this incredibly permissive with me. And look how you turned out. I'm doing just fine, thank you. Mm, I can see. When was the last time you and Bonnie talked to each other? Uh, Mother, she is going through a very difficult time. Well, hopefully it will be over by the time yours is. Here's to you, St. Philip. What does all this mean? You had a husband who's been dead for six years and you still sleep on your own side of the bed. Which would be fine if there's somebody else on the other side. But not my Lucy. Who are you saving yourself for, anyway? Mother, this is none of your beeswax. Well, probably not. But I love you, my darling daughter. And I'm watching you get older and not much wiser. I don't know what it was that you and Phil had. But whatever it was, it wasn't good enough to deserve sanctification. And you know it as well as I do. Philip my life. Well, he was, but he isn't anymore. All right, all right. I'll shut my mouth and let you go down for the third time without saying a word. Like hell I will. Mother, I love you very much. You drive me absolutely crazy, and I wish you'd leave me alone to get on with my life. It's funny you sound just like Bonnie. And when you get mad, you look exactly like your dear father. Bless his heart wherever he is. I'm excited. It's an area dealership convention. Five days in Hawaii next month. Come with me. <laughs> Where? To Hawaii? No, to Dubuque. Of course, to Hawaii. All expenses paid. Deluxe accommodations. How often do you get an offer like that? Well, I can. I have school. No, you won't. School will be over by then. You are such a slob. <laughs> Let me see this. Okay. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? I'm going to San Diego. To visit your uncle? All right. Yeah, well, he's offered me a job on his boat, and I've taken it. You mean you're going for good? Yeah, Bonnie, look, it's better this way. Look, 
There's no sense in me staying around here anymore. I can't spend the rest of my life doing what my father wants me to. But college... College is always going to be there for me. I can always go back. But right now, all I know is I don't want to be a lawyer, and I don't want to be going to law school. So I called my uncle... When? Last weekend. When are you leaving? Sunday. This has nothing to do with you, with us. It... Nothing to do with us? How can you say it has nothing to do with us? We've been going together all this time, and you just get up and leave without even telling me? <sighs> Look, I care about you. And I thought you cared about me. And just because I don't live here anymore isn't going to change any of that. Oh, absence makes a heart go fonder like that. Look, don't start with your dramatics now, all right? How about out of sight, out of mind? How about more like that? Bonnie. 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 Listen to me for a second. Don't go. It was hard enough telling my father. I thought you'd be behind me on it. Please don't go. Bonnie, my father's driving me nuts. My grades are a joke. I just want to get away. But why San Diego? Why not Cincy or Columbus? Because I got to get out of here. But what about us? It'll work out. Jay, there's Bonnie with Steve Kingsley. Jay, would you please pull over? Why? What are we going to do? Take him to dinner with us? Well, I guess you're right. I guess that's pretty silly of me. It's to you. strangers anymore. There were times when it would have been the most natural thing in the world to make love. But you always back off. You want to tell me what's wrong? I don't know, Jay. I'm just, uh, um, not interested in that kind of relationship. Why not? Don't do this, Jay. We're good friends. What we have is very nice. No, Lucy. What we have is frustrating as hell. There's like some kind of wall between us. I just want to get through it. Come on, I'm not talking about a one-night stand. I care about you. Come with me to Hawaii. It's warm, it's green. We'd have time for each other. Is that bad? It's too soon. It's a month away. Jay, I'd like to leave, please. Huh. Fine. I'll get the check. Hello? Somebody?
Listen, I'm not going to call you anymore. It's not just Hawaii. It's this whole relationship. If you change your mind, please call. Good night. Is Bonnie home? No. It's after 10. What happened? He asked me to go to Hawaii with him. <laughs> well, I can't be bad. Of course, you said no. Lucy, you're a silly woman. Spending your life with grade school kids just isn't enough. And Bonnie's not going to be around much longer. If we were, if we were making love, would you still be calling? Get in the house. Right now. Mom. Do as you're told. And you, you're not going to see my daughter again. Mrs. Dillon, you just can't... Get out of here in two seconds or I'm calling your father. Go right ahead. Get along great until the hunt in the Wicked Witch of the West. Just wait. I want to talk to you. Just leave me alone, Mother. It seems that I have left you alone too much. Why did you lie to me again? I didn't lie to you. I was going over to Libby's, but Steve and I had to talk. Bonnie. This is not good enough. I expect better from you. It's always what you expect, what you want, isn't it, Mom? Doesn't it ever occur to you that there are things happening in my life that are important to me? You want to know where I am, who I'm with, what I'm doing 24 hours a day, every day. Bonnie, I care about you. If you care so much, then give me some room to breathe. Nobody gives a damn what I feel about anything. But you are still a child. I am not a child. I'm in love with Steve Kingsley. We have been going together for a year. That counts for something. I don't remember you having a relationship that lasted two months since Daddy died. Good morning. Good morning, Mom. Good for you. That takes guts. Yeah, I used to wish you'd do this for me when I was her age. Well, did I ever imply that I was perfect? Often. Don't worry. I love you. You know that. Oh, thank you, darling. Wish me luck. Good luck. Good morning. I thought I'd try for a little uh, negotiation. It looks more like a peace offering to me. You could be right. I'm sorry, Mom. Me too. We have to find a way to talk to each other again. 
You mean you talking to me or both of us talking? Come on. We used to be able to talk to each other. We haven't talked about anything important for so long. Mommy, there are changes happening inside of me that I don't even understand. The one thing that I do understand is that I love Steve. And you won't accept that. I accept that you feel that way, okay? See, it's like it's not real. But you're not me. I'm the only one who can know what I feel. I'm the only one who can know that. I never make fun of you when you say how much you love Daddy. It was different, Bonnie. What Daddy and I had was very special. Well, that's the way it is with me and Steve. Don't say that, please. Steve is just some boy passing through your life, and frankly, I don't think you're ready for what you're getting into. What if I told you that I wanted to go to bed with Steve. Is that what you're afraid of? Bonnie, I am your mother, and I'm responsible to keep you from getting in over your head. Well, you don't have anything to worry about. Because Steve is going away, and I probably won't ever see him again. That's got air. That's what taxes and plates. Yeah. That's the price we talked about. Shoot. Okay, I'll tell you what. Yeah, I'll. Listen, I'll get back to you, okay? Bye. Jay. Hi. Hi. Mm. I, uh, I wanted to apologize to you about the other night. I behaved badly. Anne? Jay, I've, I've tried to have a relationship before, but it seemed that every time that Philip was in the room with us and I just didn't want that to happen to you. Lucy, I told you I care about you, and I do. But I really do not want to be good old Jay, Lucy's buddy. I think we have, I think we had more going for us than that. Sorry, I really am. So am I. Steve, it's daylight robbery. Well, maybe if you trade it in the Capri. No, I have other plans for the Capri. Jay, come on out here and haggle with me. You got it. What's the problem? <sighs> I'm just having you to talk to. Can call each other. Does it cost a lot to call San Diego? Why have you tried to make love to me tonight? Because I didn't want to fight. Maybe there wouldn't be a fight. I'm not trying to keep you here, Steve. I just want, I just want to make tonight special, that's all. It is special. It's always been special with this body. 
let's not talk about it anymore tonight, all right? <laughs> Attention, please. Flight 417 to Los Angeles and San Diego now boarding. And please, God, now. don't let me cry. <laughs> now, come on, Bonnie Blue. This here is a no crying area. Promise to write me as soon as you get there. Promise. This is the final boarding call for flight 20 okay. to Pittsburgh. You go All first. All passengers to Pittsburgh hey, on goodbyes. No, Mother. Absolutely not. It's already done. The papers are signed, sealed, and delivered. I'm a legal owner, and she's the registered owner. You are interfering. Lucy, the child has done nothing but stare at the wall ever since the boy left. She sits up in her room writing bad poetry. She, she lines up at the mailbox at dawn. And, and Libby tells me that she's turned down every offer for a date for the last two weeks. Now, one woman in the family like that is enough. She's too young. She's had her driver's license for over a year. She can't drive yeah. manual transmission. I can teach her. Oh, come on. Start letting her go. She needs something to fill the gap. Let me buy her a toy like I used to. Mother, you are incorrigible. <laughs> you made an old woman very happy, Jay. I wish I was old enough for you, Charlie. <laughs> Give it time, honey. Give it time. Would I be speaking out of turn if I mentioned the fact that you haven't been around to see my daughter in the last couple of weeks? Charlie, there's no use. It's tough enough competing with the ordinary mortals for a woman you like. For ghosts. Oh, you fell for that old memory of my husband line, did you? Well, I think you ought to give her a ring because I know she misses having you around. We'll see, matchmaker. Now, how about us spinning your new wheels? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's go for it. OK, John, Gary, Kent, Ron, and the Foster twins. That's 20. Mom said more than that, the whole thing's off. Just make sure there's a lot of food. Oh, there will be. And a lot of music. Food and music, that always makes the best party. Yeah. I'm gonna get some sodas. I talked to Billy today. You can come. He's so gorgeous. I hope he brings his brother. <laughs> hey, you know, the guys will probably bring a keg. They did when Shelly had that thing a couple weeks ago. Hey, Vaughn. Uh, Gary Irvine asked me if you'd go to the game with him on Sunday. So? So? So I told him, sure, why not? Gary, do me a favor. Don't set me up. If I want to go out, I'll go out. You know, you're becoming just like your mother. We all call you the Dylan girls. Your Prince Charming is gone and nobody else is good enough. Take a look around, Javon. Life goes on. 
I gotta go. I gotta meet my grandma. Sounds like good company for the mood you're in. your turn. You can practice your downshift without endangering the rest of the world. Uh, I've really had enough, Brianna. Oh, come on. Just a couple of rounds. Please, sweetheart. It's fun. Come on. on the clutch. Smoother, smoother. Ease up on your clutch. Make it a little smoother between the, the gas and the clutch. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's all right. Yes? How can you tell if someone really loves you? Oh, darling, I wish I knew. I really love him, you know. It's not just a phase like Mom says. But I don't know if he loves me the same. Well, someone said somewhere that love is given freely without any thought of return. Oh, I know. It sounds pretty ponderous, doesn't it? Still, you might give it some thought. I wish you lived with us. Mom, well, she's just mom, oh. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you come back and live at the house? Oh, no, thank you. I, I don't want to have to answer to anybody. Oh, come on. It would be fun. We could be three dingy ladies together. <laughs> At least it would be fun if Mom would just loosen up on me a bit. Mom has to loosen up on Mom, darling. Well, come on, Mario Andretti. Take your old grandma home. Slowly. so long to write, but we've been out on the sea for over a week. I never work so hard. At the end of the day, my hands are raw and my back is killing me. I know it sounds like I'm complaining, but that's not true. I really did need to get away. I think I did the right thing. Right now, I'm happy. Though I think of you often. Hugs and kisses. Love, Steve. We 
Where'd you get that blouse? I bought it with my Easter money. That eyeshadow. Looks like you used the whole pot. Mother. Oh, come on, Lucy. Let her go. She's going to be late. Good night, darling. Bye. Don't you think she looked a little trashy? Mm, flashy, maybe, but never trashy. Did you call Jay yet? It's your turn. <laughs> the outlet. No, thanks. Okay. <laughs> um, do you really know how to drive this thing? <laughs> okay, I guess you do. You want one of these? No. You sure? Thanks. No. All right. Okay, I'm sorry. Jeez. <laughs> good night, Gary. What's good night? I want to go home. You think you're a pretty big deal, don't you, Dylan? Just get out of the car, Gary, please. You know, they got a name for girls like you.
Sorry, Mom. I've been driving. Yeah, sure. You smell like a brewery. I can smell you from here. Listen, Bonnie, I'm not going to take any more of this. Give me those car keys. From now on, you leave this house in the morning you go to school. You come straight home. If necessary, I will drive you there and I will pick you up myself. There will be no more Karen and Libby. You will stay home on weeknights. You will stay home all weekends. I can find plenty for you to do around the house. And no more allowance until you learn to use it properly. You haven't even asked me where I've been. I don't need to. I can tell by looking at you, you look like a tramp. Yeah? Well, I would rather be a tramp than a frustrated woman like you. I broke a hairbrush on you once. I felt guilty about it for years afterwards. Lucy, do you really think she was with a boy? I don't know, Mom. You should have smelled her. She'd been drinking. She goes to some party. She never touches liquor. Well, that's not what I asked you. She's 17. She thinks she's in love. She thinks Steve has forgotten her. She goes to some party and gets drunk. Going to bed with some boy is just a natural progression. I was 17 when I married your father. And you were 18 when you married Philip. But I was a lot older than Bonnie when I was her age. Not to me. I doubt very much that Bonnie was with a boy last night. Don't start with that she's really in love with Steve stuff again. Steve is her very best friend in the whole world. I think that's hard for you to understand. Daddy friends. Yes, we were. Did you and Daddy get along sexually? Oh, yes. He was a wonderful lover. And Philip? Yeah. He was a wonderful lover, too. Well, enough about us. What are you going to do about Bonnie? I'll get her something to eat. understand anything could happen to her. She has never been on her own. She never even went to summer camp. Karen, do you know where Bonnie is? Honey, it's wonderful of you to be her friend, but you've got to tell us. Where did you take her? <sighs> I took her to the airport. The airport. Steve. Well, do you know where Steve is? <sighs> no, just San Diego. Well, what about his father? Maybe he knows where he is. You can check. Since Steve's mom died, his father spends a lot of time in Columbus. 
He's a lawyer. Carol, can I use your phone, please? Well, Steve's out to sea. He won't be back until tomorrow. Uh, Was he expecting you? Uh, no. Not really. No. Hi, I'm Shari Mayer. Bonnie Dillon. Uh, Steve and I have been going together for a long time, and I just flew in from Eastfield. That's in Ohio. Bonnie. Of course, Bonnie. He's mentioned you. You're the one that writes all the letters, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Well, is there any place around here that I can stay until he gets back? Well, listen, I manage the building. I think it'll be all right if you stay in his place. He'll be back tomorrow. Oh, great. Thank you. Oh, sure. Now, uh, if you have to run out and get anything, just stop by my place. I'm right next door, and I'll let you in, OK? OK, thanks a lot. Oh, you're welcome. Take it easy now. OK. I'm sure there's no way she can remember Katie and Michael's last name. It's been so long. Oh, don't worry about it, dear. I'm glad Michael's meeting you at the airport. He'll be a big help. Bye, Mom. Goodbye, dear. Surprise. Bonnie, what are you doing here? You're not mad, are you? No, of course not. I... <sighs> you look great. Don't I get a hug or anything? You bet. You feel so good? I've missed you. Mm, I missed you too. I missed you so much. <laughs> so who are you out here with? No one. I'm by myself. I ran away. You ran away? Bonnie, how could you run away? You did. Yeah, but that was different. I, I needed time. I, I needed time to figure out where my life was going. Mm -hmm. I did it for us. Bonnie, that's crazy. Why? Why is it so crazy? <sighs> Your mom. Your mom's probably off the wall about you right now. And what about high school? Did you just plan on dropping out? You're one to talk. That was different. That was college, not high school. Steve, please don't do this. I can't go back. You don't understand. Let me stay. It, it would be fun. It would be like we were living together, like we were married. Bonnie, Bonnie. This is ridiculous. We're not ready for something like this. The only thing that's ridiculous is my chasing after you. Bonnie! 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 Come on, stop acting like a child. Just give me five minutes, Steve, and this child will be out of your hair. Where are you going? Does it really matter? You have no place to stay out here. 
Come on, Bonnie. You're making me crazy. Just stay here, all right? Call me a cab. Please call me a cab. Bonnie, will you at least let me take you there? Look, do you even know the address? Yes, I'm all right. Look, you haven't seen these people in years. They may not even be home. Don't worry about it. I'll be fine. Please? I'll call you tomorrow, OK? Oh, never, never. It's so good to see you. I'll help you every way I can, you know. that We've already started and made some inquiries, but we're going to need that picture. Did, did oh, I brought, I brought some pictures. Well, when did you become captain? Oh, about a year ago. to the base, Alex. I guess this happens to thousands of parents. I shouldn't expect Bonnie to run away. Obviously, things were a lot worse than I thought they were. I think people ought to get combat medals for raising kids to 18. <laughs> Something. <laughs> That's my junior and Katie. I'd sure love to see them. Well, I, uh, they don't live here anymore. Uh, Kate and I have been divorced for over a year. Description and a photograph on the way over. And she's a Navy dependent, so she should have an ID card. Have Barrow take at least three of his best men, priority. I want this wrapped up quickly. Right, Hal. Bye. Barrow's people find missing sailors for a living, so finding Bonnie shouldn't be too tough. Well, thank you, Michael. I appreciate what you're doing. We'll have something soon. You know, you're very impressive, Captain. You've come a long way since you were an ensign. Oh. Well, I spent some dues to pay along the way. We all pay those. Hmm. Nothing more we can do till Barrow finds something, so let's get you checked into the hotel. Good idea. Hello? Oh, Steve, thank God. Is Bonnie with you? Oh, you do pick your times to have a lover's quarrel, don't you? No, I'm not questioning your morals. I'm questioning your timing. Well, Lucy should be there by now. She's going to be staying at the um, Hotel del Coronada. What time was her plane due? All right, I'll give it my best shot. Thanks. Bye-bye. So you know his name is Michael. He's about 40 and he's an officer. There are about 25,000 men on this base. Have you any idea how many of them are called Michael? I, I just can't remember his last name. <laughs> what should I do? Well, why don't you come back in the morning when the personnel office is open? Maybe they can help you. You uh, have a place to stay? Yes. You sure? Yeah. It's, um, it's about a block from here. It's my older brother. Oh, when you tell your older brother, he shouldn't let you wander around by yourself. Okay. okay. Thank you very much.
Michael, there must be some kind of mistake. No, no, there's uh, no mistake. In me. Thanks, Mr. Boone. It's very nice. Glad to help out, Captain. But I didn't order a sweet. Uh, Boone's an old shipmate of mine. I told him you're very special, so don't worry about it. Just enjoy it. You sure? I'm sure. Are you hungry? Yeah. <laughs> little girl, huh? Huh? Talking to you, turkey neck. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on with you, baby. Hey, hey, looks like we trapped us some sailor boys. Yeah. <laughs> What's it like living in Eastfield, Ohio? Oh, it's sort of like living in Waukegan, Illinois, only less exciting. <laughs> oh, that's awful. I shouldn't say it. It's really a nice town. If you like those like kind of towns. Yeah, right. Is there any man in your life? No. Nope. No man in my life. Why not? <laughs> you sure do ask a lot of questions. Miss Dillon? Hi, they uh, said at the desk I'd find you out here. I've been looking all over for you. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? She came here to see you. I know, we had a fight. She left in a cab. She said she knew friends out here. I have no idea where she went. Well, did she give you the name? No. And you just let her go? How stupid that... You know, I should have figured you'd act like this. Steve, hold it, hold it a minute. I'm Mike McKenzie. I'm a friend of the family. Now, Lucy's upset, but we need your help. 
Well, I came down here because I thought it was the right thing to do. I told you everything I know. When did you see her last? About four hours ago. And I suppose you didn't know she was coming. No, I didn't. That's what we had to fight about. I, I said she had to go home. Oh, how noble. I don't believe a word of this. Why else would I be here, Mrs. Dillon? Look, I don't want to argue with you. You believe what Steve, you want to believe. Steve, Steve, How do I get a hold of you? I want to touch base with you tomorrow. But, uh, but why the police? Come on, sunshine. You got no money, no ID, no place to go. No punks run off with your, your purse and your suitcase. <laughs> what do you want to do, go back to the ship with us? <laughs> Hello. Yes, sir. She got people here? She says she's got a fiance who lives on Broughton Street. She gave me the number. Run away, maybe? Yeah. How old she say she is? 19, in a pig's eye. Mm. You want I should call juvenile? Yeah. Gah, I'll be right with you. Gah, hold on. Uh, keep calling a boyfriend. Have him come over and pick her up. Johnson, yeah. Listen, there's many men as I can spare on the street. What do you want me to do? Can I help you? Yes, my name's Stephen Kingsley. I came to get my fiance. You okay? Yeah. Thanks for coming. <sighs> Come on, let's go home. Home to where? Well, you have a choice. You either can come to my place or the Del Coronado Hotel. Your mom just got into town. I think you should call your mom in the morning, talk to her, and try to straighten this whole mess up. What would be the point? You saw how she was with you. I'm not going back there, ever. OK. No pressure. You can stay in my apartment as long as you want. I'll be back in three or four days. You're leaving again? 7 a.m. Bonnie, you'll be fine. Sherry's right next door if you need anything. I don't want to be alone again. Can I go with you? On the boat? Why not? All right. I'll call my uncle in the morning. We'll try it. Let's get some sleep. We'll leave here at 7 a.m. Got that? I know. I'll be up. Good night. Even the new hand. <laughs> Come on, get me out of here. Bonnie, I'm Steve's Uncle Paul. You can call me whatever you want to. Be a good girl, stay out of the way. Give us a little help if you can. All right? Let's go here. We'll make the last trip was a rough one. Wait, we got trouble, boy. Straight ahead. Right here, right here. here. Okay, this is where you'll bunk. Well, I usually sleep here, but since you're here... Oh. Do you get sick? I don't know. I've never been on a boat before, remember? Anti-motion sickness. And if you have to throw up, you throw up on deck, okay? Not down here. I'll be all right, I promise. Look, Bonnie, it gets rough out there. I mean, once we leave the dock, there's no turning back. If you want to change Steve, your mind... don't deny me this chance. You said that you needed time, time to get away, to think some distance. What makes you think I'm any different? I'll stay out of your way. Dave, let's go! Get all hands topside, pulling yards. Captain Bly awaits, Mr. Christian. Okay, I hope we're doing the right thing. Okay. Coming!
Are you hungry? No, not really. Lucy, I think I understand how you feel, but everything that can possibly be done is being done. Thanks, Michael. I know. Thank you. Excuse me, Captain McKenzie. Mm -hmm. You have a telephone call, sir. It's Captain McKenzie. Where are they? How many days? No, I'll let you know if there's anything else. Hey, you do nice work, Barrow. Thanks. They found her. She's on Steve's uncle's fishing boat. Went out this morning. Now, he's a good man, so don't worry. Well, when do we get to see her? Lucy, I could have her back by the end of the day, but I think that might be a big mistake. Why? Look, you pick her up now, what are the chances she's going to run away again? They're pretty good. If she comes back on her own, maybe she'll stay. Michael, she's my daughter. She's never been alone. I know, and you're scared to death that something's going to happen to her. I know it's not easy, but you're going to have to start trusting her. No, I can't take that Look, chance. Look, Lucy, let me tell you something. One of the reasons that Katie and I got a divorce is because of our son. I wanted him to go to the Naval Academy. I, I wanted him to be like his old dad. I, hell, Mike, I, I wanted him to be me, I guess. I, so I pushed and I pushed and I pushed and I pushed. And one day, he came up to me and he said, Pop, I don't want to be pushed anymore. And he said, so long, Pop. Now he bums around the world, and I haven't seen him in two years, and I don't know where he is. I lost my boy, Lucy. Don't push him. Tug will meet you at Buoy 7. Attention on deck. Lounge. Carry on. We've raised the Victoria City, sir. The girl is standing by. All right, let's get started. Lucy. Do I have to push anything? Oh, uh, yes. Press to talk, release to listen, and I'll take care of the rest. Bonnie? Are you there? Yes, Mother, I'm here. Are you OK? Yes, I'm, I'm fine. I'm in San Diego. I want to make sure you'll be all right. I'm fine, Mother, really. Bonnie, I heard that you'd be back in a couple of days. And I'm going to wait for you. And I was hoping that I could see you and maybe we could talk for a while. Bonnie, did you hear what I said? Yes, Mother, I heard you. I understand. Well, I'll see you in a couple of days. I love you. Captain Cooper, if there's anything else, we'll be on our way. Over. Why did you have to be so nice? when I had everything figured out. She turns into a real human being. Yeah, it's getting to be so you can't count on anybody anymore, huh? What a mess. What am I doing? You sorry you came? No. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. 
She's never talked to me like that before. Not ever. She sounded so sad and little. I'm gonna sound like a real jerk. No. Never that funny. I think your mom was just reaching out for you the only way she knows how. I don't know what to do anymore. I think you do. Let's go, Steve! All right! Oh, Mother, it was just one of those ship-to-shore radio things. And was she all right? She sounded fine. I, I think she's good. And when are you going to see her? Well, her boat's coming in about two days. I told her I'd see her then. Mother, are you still there? Uh, y yes, I'm here, dear. I'm here. Anyway, I'll be in San Diego for at least two days, possibly three or four. Oh, Michael's at the door now, Mom. I gotta get going. I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? Love you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Two more days and Michael thrown in for good measure. What do you know? It's been an office of a hundred years. <laughs> Look at all you've been missing. The last bastion of elegance. Oh, how you turn a phrase. <laughs> You look terrific. You're a good-looking woman, Lucy. <laughs> Shucks. Thank you. How come you never remarried? Um, there were offers along the way. What happened? You just weren't ready? I just wasn't interested. I had my job, and I had Bonnie to take care of. That's a full life. Don't you get lonely? Why are you asking me these questions? Why are we talking about this? Oh, I don't know. It just seemed like a reasonable question. People get lonely. I do. I don't. I had Phil. That was enough for me. Lucy, I knew Phil. He was my friend. Meaning? Well, meaning as much as I liked him, he had his faults. I mean, no matter how great you thought your relationship was with Phil, as seems to me, you put him on a very high pedestal for a very long time. What makes you think my relationship with Phil was so great? Wasn't it? Wasn't. Surprised? Well, sure, a little. Want to know another surprise? Not only was it not great, it was hell. I couldn't bear him to touch me. I was only 18 when I married him. He was the first. You don't have to tell me. It's none of my business. Mrs. Oh, you want to know? You want to know why there are no men in my life? And I'm telling you. I dreaded his coming home at night. I could not wait for him to leave for sea duty. Philip was not the kind of person to discuss it. The only good thing that came from our union was Bonnie. And I have screwed that up royally. Lucy, look at me. Please. Oh, damn it, look at me. It doesn't have to be that way with all men. Michael, I don't want your nickel and dime psychology. I don't want it from you. I don't want it from anybody. I shouldn't have pressed you. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. you told me.
please. Oh, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> you sleep okay? Yeah, fine. Do you want some coffee? No, thanks. I just had... Boy, it's dark. You know what you need? You need a little sunshine. You need some... Need some fresh air. A little salt sea breeze in your face. Let's go out and find some. What do you say? Okay. I may only have one day with you. I don't want to waste it. Like this, huh? <laughs> you sure now? I don't want you to make any snap decisions on this. Uh. Don't be a wise guy, Michael. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you for last night, for today, for everything. Oh, that's enough. Thank you. Thank you. Just knock it off and sit up. What's the matter? Well, nothing's the matter yet, but you're gonna look like a lobster if I don't get something on your back and your shoulders here. You take it from an old salt. The sun can fool you. You probably think this is easy, don't you? I mean, it takes an artist. You gotta get it on evenly or it just doesn't work. Okay. Guess I'm lucky to be in the hands of such an expert. Oh, listen, the beach is littered with the work of amateurs. I mean, do you? It's about four different kinds of rub. Who knows what else? It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Well, be careful, it sneaks up on you. I think it already caught me. <laughs> Michael. Mm-hmm. Let's dance. Mm. If I can get up. <laughs> I'd like another
spend the night alone, not tonight. I'm scared. What do you think? Think you can live with the fisherman? <laughs> My wife used to sit right where you are now. She's as pretty as you are, too. Yeah, it's nice having a woman around again. She doesn't come out with you anymore? Nah, seems like all she does anymore is babysit the grandkids. My daughter's divorced. I don't know. Nothing seems to be permanent anymore. How long have you been married? 32 years. A lot of work, Bonnie. A lot of work. It's worth it. I want something good. You, uh, you and Steve talking about it? No. no. <laughs> Not really, huh? He's a good boy. Works hard, but he, uh, he's, he's no fisherman. <laughs> uh, he's got to find himself, figure out what he wants to do with his life. Now, what about you? Me? Yeah. Pretty much the same, I guess. This may come as a surprise, Mr. Cooper, but I'm not much of a fisherman either. <laughs>
all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I've missed you. I'm, uh... I'm very nervous right now. <laughs> me too. I guess you want to know about me and Steve, huh? Yeah. But I... I, I guess it's none of my business, really. Yeah, but you are my mother. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well? I... Before we talk about you, there's something I have to tell you about myself first. Then you can decide if you really want to talk about you. Okay? Okay. Okay. Here goes. Your, uh, father and I did not have the world's greatest marriage. I know that that's not the picture that I painted all these years. And, uh, there were a lot of things that I made up. Your father wasn't a very warm man. We didn't get along physically. Are you talking about sex? Yeah. But I'm talking about more than that. I'm talking about intimacy and sensitivity. We couldn't communicate. I don't know. I don't know how else to say it. Bonnie, you know, you've... You've had to pay the price for that. You had to pay the price for the problems your father and I had because the minute I saw you with Steve, I was frightened to death. It wasn't Steve. It could have been anybody you were getting serious about. But, Mom, Steve isn't like that. He's warm and he's sensitive and... We talk a lot. We talk about everything. That's good, but I couldn't know that. I thought I was preventing you from having the problems and making the same mistakes I had made. Bonnie, I'm sorry. Mom, I... I love you. More than you could know. I love you so much. <gasps> Nothing happened between me and Steve. Good. Good? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think the first experience should be just right. I think you're a little too confused now to know for sure. Am I wrong? No, you're right. Steve, he's, he's a great friend. And that's nice. Bonnie, I want you to know that I'm here for you. I haven't always felt that before. I love you, Bonnie Beautiful. I love you. I almost lost you, and I don't want that to happen again. <laughs> 